This video will be a little short, but I hope it will save some people a lot of time and confusion. The other day, a viewer messaged me with an interesting problem. Wiswick was trying to follow my video on serrated locking joints, but was making a variant with no hole in the center of the cylinder. But when he got to the slice apart step, everything went haywire. I decided to investigate, so I pulled out my model of the serrated locking joint. I'm using a copy of it so I can experiment without affecting the original. I'll hide everything away, but make the cutting tool visible. The tool is aloft in a lattice two polar array. Drop in a primitive cylinder and transform it into position to be cut. It's just an experiment, so precision isn't called for. Now select the cylinder, select the cutting tool, and go to Part, Split, Slice Apart. Boy, what a mess. Each copy of the loft seems to be a separate slice, and just to make matters worse, both halves of the cylinder are part of the same slice. That is not at all right. My best guess is that the Lattice 2 workbench is not placing the copies with perfect precision. In spite of having a radius of zero, the individual wedges of the serrated blade are not meeting up perfectly in the center. It's only a guess since I couldn't see the issue clearly even at extreme zoom. That means the cutting tool has an irregularly shaped hole in the center and some misalignment. As a result, we get a bunch of tiny little slices, and the two halves of the cylinder to be split are not cut completely apart and so remain a single object. This isn't an issue when there's a hole in the cylinder since the part of the tool where the misalignments are doesn't come into play. But if you have a situation where you must cut through a solid shaft, you're simply not going to be able to use the Lattice 2 workbench. Instead, simply select the loft and use the draft polar array. Like with the Lattice 2 polar array, the count should be equal to the count in the discretized curve. This is more computationally intensive, so if your workstation is not that powerful, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Even on a decent dish workstation, it takes a moment. But it does result in a perfect alignment and perfectly split shaft. As you see, we get two slices, top and bottom of the cylinder, and nothing else. Just one final note on this. Before getting too mad at the Lattice 2 workbench, it may be that avoiding the small imperfections, which only become a problem occasionally, is exactly why the draft polar array is so much more CPU intensive than the Lattice 2 polar array. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.